What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Real Talk. And as you can tell, this is a special video because I have a special guest with me today. And that's Audrey. Yep. What's up, Audrey? How are you doing? Hey. Welcome I'm back. I'm good. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. It's yep. Exciting. I miss being here and recording, so I'm super stoked. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, me and Audrey actually started this channel back in like February, late February. And uh, for those of you guys who missed the, uh, I guess, announcement on Instagram, she's going to be taking over uh, Instagram, kind of, you know, contacting you guys and, you know, going back and forth and posting some stuff uh, on there as well. Uh, so, yeah. Yep. We decided to uh, take advantage of you coming over here and do a review for all right guys like i was saying um we have a review for woodshock starring chris and dunce and it's actually directed by first time directors uh kate and laura yeah kate and laura uh their two sisters and um going into this movie we saw the trailer uh early on this year and i think i don't know if we both covered it or i just covered it uh but it was an a24 movie and obviously a24 has been killing it lately uh and you know I don't know. Did it live up to the A24 name? We'll find out. Uh, but yeah, do you have anything to say about it? Like any expectations coming in or your? Uh, well, I mean, I was really excited to watch it when you know we we decided that we were gonna which movie to watch. Yeah. I wanted to really watch this one because through the trailer it looked really cool. Yeah, it looked very interesting. Like yeah, you were it saying super it looked cool. reminiscing of uh, Melancholia, right? Yes, and it gave me like a Lars von Trier, so I was totally like enthralled with it and I wanted to watch it because of that. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So let's start off with the negatives. All right, guys. So starting off with the negatives, as always, for me, for this film, I felt like the story was kind of, you know, I don't know how to describe it. You know, I don't know if you know what I, I'm pretty sure you know what I, what I mean. Um, it was kind of there, but not there. You know, like yeah. there was a story, but it was just kind of hard to follow. And sometimes filmmakers do that. Uh, like intentionally and kind of make you think kind of like um darren aronofsky's mother this past uh two weeks ago i believe so now right um that kind of that film's kind of made to kind of made you think stuff like that and this film i think it was trying to go for that but it kind of had something missing you know yeah i feel like it was there but it wasn't it kind yeah of, it kind of fell short for me and with the the dialogue and the storyline it was just it wasn't very strong i don't yeah. think the storyline was really strong I thought it was pretty weak, but um, but yeah, I I totally get what you're saying. Like it was there, like I saw what they were trying to do. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like it, it wasn't. Especially it wasn't like w with this being an A24 film, I feel like their stories a lot of the time are really strong, especially the yeah. characters, you know. Uh, but this one just didn't really have it. So I'm gonna say my negative now. One of my negatives was the characters. Um, yeah. I think they were kind of bland like yeah definitely <laughs> like they didn't really have any depth in them i didn't find myself caring for them or feeling any some sort of way particularly for any of them really like they were just kind of there i was like oh like okay but it wasn't really nothing that made me feel any sort of emotion for them or yeah, feel exactly. sad or bad or anything for them so that's why the characters were pretty weak for me too yeah exactly i'm right there with you like when we we're talking about this film and its negatives I didn't really, I kind of looked over that, but you're completely right. Like, these, especially like a movie like this, kind yeah. of, I don't want to say experimental, but, you know, from A24, they've had those character driven stories, and that's why for us as moviegoers, we are drawn to them, you know, because we really care about the characters. But in this one, they're kind of just there. We, it, it just gets started, and they're, we don't really learn a lot of backstory from them. We're, we're not really given, like, uh, even like a main character, go well, kind of from Chris and Dunn's. But she's just, she doesn't really have a lot to, you know, okay, she's just yeah, there. Yeah. She's going through some things and then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, overall, I thought the characters were pretty... <laughs> yeah. All right, so for my next negative, is kind of the overall, like, theme of it. There was a certain specific theme that kept playing throughout the movie. And, like, I like the theme, but it's just kind of used, like, so much. You know, like, just, like, random places and like normally i'm a big fan of scores that mm -hmm. like they use the scores and even songs nowadays a lot of like movies um are trying to use like different songs the like 80s or whatever i'm really i'm a real big fan when they do that right but in this film i don't know i just i feel like it was used a lot you know more than it should have been yeah i honestly didn't even really pay attention to the song and that should tell you a <laughs> lot because i'm like you i'm a huge fan of film scores and stuff like that I yeah. think they add so much to a movie i think they're so important to add atmosphere and just give exactly. you a general feeling of a movie and this one it didn't give me 
that feeling at all. <laughs> yeah, like you're exact. You're exactly right. Cause like when you have those memorable like scores and stuff like that, they get you into that moment. Or kind of like Indiana Jones, that you know, great theme or Star Wars or anything like that. But this one was it had one. It was cool, but it was just played overused a lot. And my last negative would also have to be back to the story. I think I had a lot of potholes. I mean, it it had so many unanswered <laughs> questions. Yeah. Right? Like, it was just like, it didn't make any sense. Some of the parts I was like, okay, I think I know where this is going. And then something would happen and I would just be like, totally like a mess. So I think I had a lot of holes and it just, it wasn't a weak it was, it was just weak, the storyline. I honestly think yeah, that. Yeah, especially um, not thinking about a certain scene, not spoiling anything. Uh, there's just this one thing, like, that was, like, centered. Like, the, the, you know, they, they made an effort to, like, okay, attention. she got this thing. And then, like, it just went nowhere. And I was like, that kind of threw me off guard because they gave it a lot of attention. So I was kind of like, what the heck, you know? Yeah, I completely agree. I think um, they just did a really bad job with explaining things overall. All right, guys. So moving on with the positives for the film. Uh, for me, I have to say the performance. Uh, I was going to say performances. Performance. But uh, Kristen Dunst, I feel like <laughs> she does a very good job in this role. <laughs> you know, like she, yeah. she, she, she's, she does the best what she can do. But I think even from her earlier work in like a movie that you told me to watch, Melancholia, and even something like she was really good also in, in The Big Guild. Big Guild? Begilded? Begilded? Right. I always get confused. Yeah. But she, she's been a, a really strong actress lately, and I feel like in this one, she did the best what she what she was getting with, and um, especially because I feel like she's she needs to hit like a lot of like, you know, high and low and stuff like that, so I think she did a pretty good job. Yeah, honestly, she's probably like the only one that gave any <laughs> kind of performance. I mean, not to hate on any of the actors or anything, but it's just, I felt like they didn't really have much to work with. There yeah. was very limited dialogue, so I felt like they could only do so much. But, um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of her performance, but she was she was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, and I think you're, you hit it right on the money that a lot of these actors didn't have a lot to work with, so they didn't <laughs> yeah. really have, like, much to, you know, like, do, like, acting-wise. So, uh, but... Overall, I mean, Chris and Dunst did a pretty good yeah. job, in my opinion. Going on with my positive, I wanted to touch upon the cinematography. Overall, aesthetically, it was a very nice yeah. movie to look at. It had sort of like this... I kind of told you, I felt like I, went, I was on LSD the whole movie. Cause <laughs> I felt like it was all shot through like a kaleidoscope. You know those movies yeah. that you look through and it and looks it's all, like, all weird? Yeah, yeah, you see like the reflective. I saw what they were trying to do, you know, make it trippy and like yeah. really like, you know, groovy and stuff. And it was fun to, to look at. It was um, some of the shots were pretty cool without yeah. spoiling anything. It does have some really nice uh, shots in there, but also kind of touching upon it could be kind of a negative i don't know it's just i felt like they kind of overdid it just a little mm, bit okay but so overall, it was cool but it was just done a little bit too much yeah i wish they would have held back a little bit just yeah. a little bit no i I, okay. I definitely agree with you too um there are some cool shots and also really cool like you said really cool uses of like colors and stuff like that obviously yeah. that's cinematography but in this one especially too um because like we were just like, kind of like researching it uh, this film is it does make you get that feel of like when she's doing you know like drugs or whatever right or like yeah it gives you that feeling I think that's a credit to the the cinematography so it was pretty yeah they wanted to well. make you feel like you were high <laughs> yeah <laughs> and they did achieve that but um but yeah overall I thought it was really aesthetically pleasing and and actually um finding out that their background is in fashion design oh yes yeah. um I completely understand why it was so pretty to look at and you know some of the costumes that the actors wear they're really like they're really nice to look at so yeah so it makes yeah. perfect sense overall guys you know I'm pretty sure you can get the fact that you know we weren't really big fans of this movie um, I I wish I can say I can get what they were going for but I don't you know so with all the positives and negatives being said I think I would give uh, Woodshock a 5 out of 10 that's all 5 out yeah, of 10 5 out of 10 Okay. I give it a slight little edge because, I don't know, I think her performance was good and, like, you know, like we said, cinematography, but I just didn't think it was, like, that bad of a movie, you know? Like, it could have been worse. <laughs> it can always be worse, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, it was, it was a big letdown. I was expecting a lot more. I was expecting something totally awesome, something along the lines yeah. of melancholia, something really, like, Definitely. like that. 
Um, so it did fall short for me. So that's why I will have to rate it a 4.5. Okay, yeah, I was there as well too. Yeah, but it was I think that has to do with it too. That our expectations, like we, yeah, I, I mean, just, for me, I didn't set them too high, but especially from A twenty four, you know, what I'm saying yeah. they have such great filmography so far, and it's you know maybe their first, you know, that I know of, like fumble or whatever, you know. It just it it missed the mark for me like completely. So yeah, it, definitely that had to do a lot with what I decided to rate it because it just it, it wasn't there, you know. Yeah. So overall, I mean, I wouldn't, to be honest, guys, if this even plays in a uh, theater near you, we did have to, you know, travel for this. Uh, <laughs> so especially you. <laughs> yeah. But um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. I said just wait for it. If you're curious about it, just wait for it, like, for, you know, Netflix or, you know, Blu-ray or whatever. Yeah, I would suggest, you know, save your money and go watch something else instead. Honestly, yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to recommend this movie. It doesn't have my stamp of approval. But if you have seen the movie, guys, let us know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys want to follow us outside of uh youtube you guys can on instagram twitter and facebook at the real talk talk with two k's and remember audrey's going to be taking over the instagram page so if you guys want to chat with her about films or anything like that she's going to be posting a lot of stuff on there too so uh you guys can follow her there too. yep let's get to chatting yeah <laughs> <laughs> and as always guys we'll see you at the movies